I'm Bob Hallmark in Longview. As the war in Europe rages on between the Ukraine and Russia, there are efforts here in the United States and locally to try to create support and raise money for humanitarian aid to help the Ukrainian people in their fight. And one of those who is championing some aid that is coming to Longview is somebody we're familiar with, a 1994 gold medalist, Oksana Bayul. Bayul became the first ever Ukrainian to win a gold medal under the free Ukrainian flag. And she talks about her efforts and actually receiving a award uh, through the uh, U.S. Ukraine Foundation uh, that has helped uh, a number of uh, ways uh, with uh, the Ukrainians involved in the war. Uh, she will be receiving that award here in Longview on October the 29th, and she talks a little bit about why she got involved. I'm actually going to be at the event that is held on October 29th in Longview, and I've been invited to receive an award for work that I have done on behalf of my Ukrainian friends mm -hmm. who live in Ukraine. And um, that's what I wanted to get to is let's talk about what this is. Uh, now, all of us know that you're the first ever uh, to win a gold medal uh, under the Ukrainian flag. And given what's happening over in uh, Ukraine now, I'm guessing this is a very big issue for you. Um, yes, it is very huge issue. It's a humanitarian crisis is mm -hmm. happening in my country where I was born. I was born actually in a very small town like Longview. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I did what I loved to do. I was figure skating, figure skating, figure skating, and I got to the gold medal. And mm -hmm. um, in 2022, you know, the crisis happened mm -hmm. and uh, Russia is, you know, announced that, that there is a special operation is happening in my uh, country where I come from, where, and um, obviously it just made all Ukrainians around the world to be tighter mm -hmm. with each other because we're all fighting for our land, our democracy. Exactly. Uh, much, a lot like what happened to us in our early years. You're fighting oh. for your dignity and your right to determine your own future. Yes. And I'm guessing that's what was really passionate for you is that you saw your countrymen, one after the other after the other, join into the fight. And the United States has tried to help as much as we can. Uh, and that's the, the issue there is awareness. You don't want people to forget what's going on. U.S.-Ukraine Foundation is the people who are going to be uh, doing the event mm -hmm. on October 29th. And it's the oldest organization that has been, my God, doing work with Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I'm just going to be a part of this event, and it's a huge honor, you know, mm -hmm. to receive an award from people who understand um, that I assume they think, wow, it's amazing that she is a first Olympic gold medalist for Ukraine. And a lot of people, you know, if they will remember, um, they couldn't find the national anthem and they had to hold on for like 45 minutes mm -hmm. and our team member had to go to the Olympic village grabbing this mm -hmm. and bringing it back. And if we will forward literally 30 years, I just spoke maybe a few months ago to that team leader who is no longer with us, but her daughter is, mm -hmm. and she is a part of Olympic movement in Ukraine. And she literally had said to me, she was going through her antiques, as I would call it, mm -hmm. <laughs> and she still has that national anthem, and it's in Ukraine. But the gold medal is in 
USA. <laughs> and I'm here with my husband today, and I'm here with my daughter. They came to support me. And um, yeah, I mean, it means, I think, I think when the war started, I didn't want to speak on, obviously, mm. on their behalf, because they're there, I'm here. What can I say? Mm. I can only watch TV and talk to them, mm. you know, and, um, and, and then when time went by, they would start actually speaking to me and talking and asking me to do things for them. And I am actually, you know, I am, I am from the Dnipro, you yeah, know, you, it's you, a you're little... You're kind of an ambassador right now for, uh, in, in, in some ways. Bob, I cannot change the world, mm -hmm. you know, but I also do understand what my gold medal and, um, you know, that win in 1994 literally did for a country. Mm -hmm. And I am very proud of wearing the flag and um, just be, be who I am. I'm just, I'm not trying to be like a spokesperson for mm -hmm. Ukraine, not at all, mm -hmm. but I can change a fact <laughs> of being Oksana Bayul, Olympic champion who did win the gold medal for Ukraine. And we'll have more on this story tonight on KLTV 7 News for KLTV Web Extra. I'm Bob Hallmark.